Hey guys, in this video, I wanna show you why most people, in my opinion, don't need to buy a laptop or a desktop if you have a Samsung phone. So I wanna show you something really cool right now. Look at this, do you see Do you see what this is right here? This is literally my phone connected to a monitor and it acts just like a desktop computer. So this is absolutely crazy how you have this secret hidden interface in your phone. So as you saw right there, it's really cool. You can actually have a totally different interface hidden within your Samsung smartphone. So if you have one of the newer flagship phones by Samsung, so the Note 9, the S9, the S10, or the Note 10, uh, then you'll be able to do this very easily. And it only costs a couple dollars for, you know, just an adapter if you want to do that. Now, I think a lot of people, you know, you pay a thousand dollars for a phone and most people, in my opinion, don't utilize the full horsepower of their phone. Your phone's really powerful. And this might be a great opportunity to use more or get more out of your phone. So in this video, I want to talk about two things in particular. The first one, I want to give you guys just a tour of what Samsung DeX looks like and give you guys a, a quick interface tour, show you what it's capable of, how it feels to use it. And then part two, I want to discuss whether or not you can actually use this as a standalone laptop or desktop and replace whatever else you have. So for example, if you are looking to go out and buy a Chromebook, maybe this could be a great replacement for that. You know, if you already have a phone or if you can combine a phone and a laptop cost, save some money and just get one device, that's something that might be the option for you. Now, they came out this a couple years ago, as I said, and I actually forgot it came out until very recently I was going to travel, you know, it's going on vacation and I had some work to do, but I didn't want to bring my laptop. I was traveling light. So what I did was I thought, you know what, I'm just going to bring a keyboard, a wireless keyboard connected to my phone and I can type a little faster that way. And I did that, but then, you know, it's weird because my phone was far away and so I had to like touch it. So I thought, well, let's just see if I can connect a mouse. And you can actually also connect a mouse. So a mouse and a keyboard both connect very well to the Galaxy S10. And then I thought, well, while I'm at it, I might as well put it on a bigger screen. So I put it, I plugged it into my monitor or my TV, and all of a sudden it came up with Samsung DeX. And it turns out that's a really great way to work, especially when you're traveling. So hotels almost always have a TV, and it's great to plug your phone in over there and just work from you know the, the desk or the bed or wherever you are in a hotel. You can get a lot of work done when you're on the road. So with, without any more uh, explanation of why you might want to use this, let's jump over and I'll show you exactly how to set this up and what it looks like when you're using it. So guys, what do you actually need for this setup? There's really four things. They're all like $10 or less each. And a lot of them you probably already have kicking around your house anyway. So the first thing, like I said, is a wireless keyboard, a Bluetooth keyboard. You can get a wired one if you want. I like the wireless ones so you can be farther away. Same thing with the mouse, a wireless mouse. Then you want to get this little adapter right here, a dongle for your phone. And then lastly, what you want to get is actually a wireless charging pad so you can charge your phone while it's plugged in. Unless you have a fancy dongle, you can actually run power back through it. Mine doesn't have any USB-C on there, so I just use my wireless charging pad. Again, each of those items is like five or $10. They're not expensive. And it's going to enable you to do things like this when you're on the road or when you're at, you know just at home. This can be your only computer. So looking at the homepage right here, you'll see it's actually not that different from Windows or even maybe a Chromebook for that matter, where you have just a basic background and you have a couple apps right there that are shortcuts you can go to. You can also right click and you can sort them, you can clean them up, or you can change the wallpaper. They'll give you a couple different wallpapers, but you can also choose some from your gallery. That's typically what I would recommend doing. Uh, as we go down, you'll see Dex right there is the menu on the bottom left, and it gives you just a couple of basic things where you can exit it, you can lock it, uh, and you can go to Dex Labs. Now, Dex Labs is essentially like beta testing whatever's coming out. So right now, it's saying, you know, the, the thing that I'm testing and using is the full screen version of a thing. So it forces apps to go full screen rather than just in a skinny mode. And I'll show you that in a second. As we go over to the panel right here, you have all your different apps. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. Then you also have, you know, these are basic. These are just going to be whatever else is open. You can go home and that's your back button. Down here, you'll see that you have actually whatever apps are already open. So we have Google Chrome open and you can see it's full screen. It looks just like it would on a laptop or even on a desktop. Then you also have, you know, some other apps like Microsoft Excel, which again, looks like a full screen. This doesn't look like a mobile app at all. Now, some apps, of course, would look like mobile apps if they're not made for this. So some apps, as you can imagine, like maybe Snapchat, for example, would not do well in full screen. So if I force it to go full screen, you'll see it looks kind of weird. It's kind of stretching things out a little bit too much. Of course, that's also my phone just like looking straight up at a light. 
Um, but overall, you're going to have some apps that maybe don't go full screen nearly as nicely. And Samsung kind of suggests which apps do. And there, of course, are all the Samsung apps, most of the Google apps. And then, of course, you also have some Microsoft apps that also, you know, they play very well with this. Now, on the bottom right, you'll see these are your notifications where you have, you know, just there's a notification I have from Dex, obviously, because it's running. I have one from Keep Notes uh, and maybe a few others as well. Then over here, you have your quick settings for your Bluetooth, uh, you know, your hotspot, blah, 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 all that other stuff. And then over here is sort of where you get the other things that you would do with your phone. So maybe like a screenshot, for example, or opening the keyboard or changing the volume or even just searching right there. So it's just some basic things that you can do on here. There, it's really self-explanatory in a lot of ways, and I think it's really nice and easy to use. You can also test out a lot of the hotkeys on your own. But I found that plugging in a keyboard and using just the basic hotkeys seems to work pretty well. The copy, paste, and all those different, the main ones, even Alt-Tab to switch between Windows, a lot of the hotkeys keys transfer really well into this and it works surprisingly you know honestly even better than i expected so could you actually use this as a primary desktop every day honestly i think you really could i think i haven't really seen it performing excessively slow in, you know unless you're trying to do any kind of extreme you know numbers or math or anything uh, more intense on this if you're trying to run heavy programs of course it is just a phone it might be slowing down it's not going to perform as well as like your i7 two thousand dollar laptop or whatever so granted this if for most uses for people that just search the web and they just want a bigger screen than what their phone has i think this is more than enough this is definitely something that people could use every day and more than enough for what i'm using when i'm traveling this is a huge breakthrough for me that i can use this uh, like i said when i'm traveling and not have to bring my laptop all the time it's also important to note that you can have other audio here if you're having audio from the the monitor itself or from plugged in speakers you can easily have that controlled right there as you can see on the DeX website right here, you can actually connect your phone to a Samsung laptop or to a monitor. I usually just use a monitor because I don't have a Samsung laptop. I think that defeats the purpose anyway. And then one thing they mention on here is that you can use your phone as a touchpad if you don't have a Bluetooth or wireless mouse or if you don't have the dongle that allows you to connect multiple things. So the phone does turn into a touchpad. You can use that to control everything. And of course, guys, it depends on which phone you have. A lot of the newer ones should be capable of connecting multiple devices by Bluetooth. I know my Samsung Galaxy S10 connects easily four devices with no problems at all. Now, if you don't have a Samsung phone and you're looking to do something similar to this, the closest thing I could recommend would be either Google Remote Desktop, which allows you to use your phone to access another desktop and it you know, literally acts as a normal desktop interface, or you can use a Chromecast. Maybe you can combine the two uh, if you're really feeling ambitious and you'll be able to essentially use other phones as a laptop or desktop style experience. So as you see down here, what I kind of mentioned before is Samsung sells DeX pads and their own sort of accessories. So if you look at these, I think these are probably a little more expensive than some of the aftermarket ones you can find that are from off brands. So it's up to you if you guys want this one. Of course, the DeX pad or something like that might have charging included in there. So it's going to be a little bit easier to use, uh, a little bit fewer accessories you need to set up, but you might be paying a little bit more for that. So I think it's also really important to note that there are some benefits with only having one device. So yes, you are scaling back a little bit. You don't have quite as much power as some of the larger laptops out there, but some of the benefits might include things like one, you have everything in one location. So you don't have to worry about sending files back and forth on email or uploading to Drive or anything like that. Everything is just in one location, which also makes it a little bit more secure. So you can use things like Samsung Pass. You can use the, you know, the secure folders on Samsung phones. Uh, and you can have everything a little bit safer and a little bit less out there, especially if you're somebody worried more about security. So speaking of security, I think now's a good time to mention that if you're traveling and you're on public Wi-Fi, so in an airport, in a hotel, in McDonald's, whatever it is, make sure you guys use a VPN. I had some friends lately run into some trouble from not using VPNs, lots of headaches, you don't wanna deal with that. So make sure you get a VPN. There's a lot of good ones out there. PIA is a good one I used to use. Now I use NordVPN and I'll link them down below if you wanna use Nord. They're a great one. They're one of the more reputable ones in the industry. And usually it's like two or $3 a month. I get it for like 75% off. They usually have a good deal running. And like I said, I'll link it in the description. Check it out if you're interested. So guys, in conclusion, Samsung DeX, in my opinion, is a really cool step 
step in the right direction made by Samsung. So I think in the future, people will not have phones and laptops. I think they kind of will be one device eventually, especially as the price continues to go up, they get more and more powerful, but people aren't necessarily doing that much more. So if you are somebody who is just doing basic work on a computer, so if you're just browsing the internet, if you're doing some documents, spreadsheets, maybe some presentations, stuff like that, then you can absolutely get away with only using Samsung DeX. So if you have a smartphone like the S10 or the Note 10 or even the Note 9 for that matter, you can easily get away with doing this and not need to go out and buy an expensive laptop. So I think that's something really cool. It's also safer, more mobile, like I said before. And although on the flip side, if you are somebody who is doing a little bit more intense stuff, so if you're photo editing, video editing, or engineering type work, stuff like that, where you have you know a very high demand from your computer, then you probably won't be able to replace that with your smartphone. Uh, not yet at least, because it's only 2019. I'm sure that in the future, you will definitely have that kind of horsepower on smaller devices like a phone. So let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Is this something that you can do? Would you be able to use only your smartphone as your desktop at home or at work? So let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed this video. Also, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.